Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be some planner setups for the month of October. And I am showing you guys my dollar store desk setup for the fall. I wanted to get some new desk aesthetics for me to just motivate me with the fall. I love the change of the colors and the leaves. And I thought I'd take my desk and change it a little bit and make it a little fall-ish. And I like it, especially from the dollar store. I also had to switch sides. This is the side I usually have my desktop and edit videos and things like that. But because of school, I switched it to the other side of the room and I use this as my recording side. So thank you for watching and let's do some digital planning and chit chat. Take care. you saw I will be in two planners first I'm going to use my digital faith planner by easy life planners I love this and she always has a sale and it's like five dollars for a nice complete planner for everything I use it for faith only but it's like a daily planner that you can use for your life but it's just a faith portion added with it I typically just use the monthly the weekly and if I use the daily it will usually be like a journaling so it has a lot of sections that I don't use and I may in the future use it more holistically like use more elements of it because it is a complete planner plus a faith planner but I like to just keep things in here all things faith based and so I do a lot at my church concerning Sunday school or the tech booth I call it the tech booth I do a lot of the tech things and uh, help out my pastor here and there like emails that need to go out as far as like handouts for church so I do a lot of things tech technically related and so that's what I like to keep this on in case I have to email someone or do something I just like to keep track of it here and so I'm going to set up a monthly and the weekly section for this week uh, for October and I will be using my subscription kit from Firefield Creations. I like to use her, subscri her subscription kits for this particular planner and this is for I think this is September's. I don't think this is October's or I think this is October's and then I put a pause on it. I don't know if this is September or October. I think it's October, but it's fear the Lord or fear of the Lord and so I'm going to decorate it and then I'm also going to use the same elements on the weekly section of this planner and then I can also print what what I love about it is that I can print out the digitals and use it in my Bible which I'll eventually do anyway but you know me right now digital planning and journaling is working for me because of my schedule so let's see how this turns out and do a little chit chat along the way if necessary Instead of doing a screen record, I opted to do it physically in front of you guys. One, because I wanted to show some of the aesthetics on my desk. Let me just be honest. And then another thing is sometimes the screen record, you don't get a chance to see all of the buttons that I'm or the the icons that I am clicking on when I digitally plan or journal. And some of you may be new and trying to still figure this thing out. I am using an iOS program meaning I'm using an iPad as opposed to an Android. I have one video using my Samsung tablet. That thing stresses me out so much. I really regret getting it. And the reason why I bought it is because some of you may be Android users and I am not an Android user, but you may want to digitally plan or journal and you are subscribed to this channel or you watch this channel and I'd like to switch it up sometimes and be able to do some process videos to help you learn and get better at digitally planning and journaling. So I may pick it back up again. You know what my struggle is? I just can't find the right program that works for me because everything is set to Apple for me. And I know I can use Dropbox and Google and all of those things, but trying to get everything over there and 
the way the Android works for me, I just cannot, I just can't get the dexterity of it. Um, Daisha over at uh, Planning a Godly Life, she uses Android tablets like 99% of the time. So if you really want to learn or get a handle on it, you can go over to her channel. I am still going to learn here because I just like the challenge of trying to learn something new. And I like to kind of switch things up and just know how to do things on other kinds of platforms. It's not working for me, but I think I'm not sticking to one thing. I don't know if I should use Penly or J Notes. Good Notes is supposed to go over to Android, but I heard, I think I have the beta and it's just not working well. So I'll see, I'll keep you guys updated. But if you choose to respond in the comments, let me know if you use an Android tablet. I can digitally journal on like my Surface Pro, which is a laptop and a tablet. I know how to do it there, but I haven't learned, like I said, on a Samsung Galaxy uh, S6. Yeah, I got an inexpensive one. I'm so glad I didn't get a really expensive one because I would have been upset. I probably would have sold it on eBay or something. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so far this page is coming out really pretty. I love all things floral and I am in the weekly section. My head was down as I was speaking to you guys. I'm in the weekly section starting today, which will be October 2nd. And I am dropping these elements in here because I am going to either I'm going to reflect on a sermon that my pastor preached this week or I'm going to use one of the scripture references from this kit or maybe her, she usually sends a devotional with it. I may do that and reflect there. I'm not sure, but whatever it is, it is going to be some type of reflection just for the week, not every day, but just for the week. And I decided to use this kit. She has a worship uh, digital Bible kit. And this young lady in this kit worked really well with the colors. And I needed another lady because this subscription only had one lady in it. And I wanted to use another lady. So this one matched perfectly. And if you do go over to Firefield Creations and use code SHERRY20, you'll get 20% off of anything you purchase in her store. I always check with her, but she said the coupon lasts forever. And so and this is how the page turns out. I hope that you like it. And I'm going to move on to the next planner. I'm showing you my Planner Girl Meek Planner. I'd already set that up for the month of October and for the week and I use that planner for social media to keep track of the videos and the posts that I make and I just like yeah just keep running track of that so we're going to get into my planner girl not my planner girl <laughs> my my goodness all these things just run together for me planning a godly life planner and I want to explain some things concerning this planner this planner was a September planner. I think I did a video, one video on it, and I didn't use it very much in September. And I paused my subscription or stopped my subscription for planning a godly life. I just needed a break from a lot of the subscriptions and my time just doesn't allow me to keep up with a lot of the new things that I'm getting so I wanted to make good use of what I have and what I decided to do was take the September monthly I'm going into my Calypso's creative planning overlay and it fits perfectly in here for the month of October well the layers are fit for the the days in October and I just layer it where it needs to go and so I'm just using a variety of kits and I am just decorating this page it's a monthly planner and I wanted to have like a small planner that I can use for personal things. I have her bigger one, but I haven't used it in a while. But I just needed something really simple. And this is simple. And so I'm just using a lot of different kits from other shops. Like that was very pretty. That was a nice little fall type Bible kit. I'm going back into planner. I'm sorry, into planning a godly life stickers and I'm bringing in some of those icons and I'm just mixing and matching. Just I'm really playing around, guys, honestly, because I just wanted to see if it would actually work if I can just change it from the month of September to the month of October. And it actually works. Like I said, it's just a small, simple planner. I don't have to do a lot with it and I can 
now I can make the most out of it for at least another month since I didn't do it before. Like I said, I'm mixing and matching some elements from different shops. And that's it. I just wanted to share with you guys a quick video. I took this day, Monday, kind of like a mental health day. I just didn't have the strength to do schoolwork. I just needed a break to just relax and do something that I enjoy and that relaxes me. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a blessed day today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video soon. Take care. Thank you.